Well, the, these new drugs are um, exciting um, and important because of their activity. Um, and so, meaning that they really have an impact and a clinical benefit for patients with advanced melanoma. So advanced melanoma is melanoma that's traveled beyond the lymph nodes. Um, and before this, we our, the success of our therapies was really qu quite limited. Um, so these new approaches, one with immunotherapy and one with targeted therapy, really makes a meaningful difference in uh, the response rate um, and how patients feel after getting on these therapies. I mean, they're better um, and remarkably better um, with these new therapies. This new uh, pill, Vemurafenib, we expect will be FDA approved this year. Um, for those patients, the response rate, meaning how likely is the melanoma to shrink, um, occurs in almost half the patients who receive the therapy. And this really is unprecedented activity. So patients who are on pain medicine, short of breath, on oxygen, within 72 hours can be better. Now this is a huge advancement, um, but still melanoma patients who have the BRAF mutation over time, their cancer cells become resistant to the therapy and the cancer cells do outsmart us and develop ways to, to go beyond where we put the brakes on. I do test every patient who has advanced melanoma to t determine if their tumor has a mutated BRAF gene. So we collect the tumor blocks and we have the capacity to do the testing, but there will be a test developed. But I will test every patient with advanced melanoma to see if they have a mutated BRAF gene. If they do, and the drug is FDA approved, then that would be my first choice, to put them on Vemurafenib, um, or more importantly, a clinical trial that looks at combination therapies. Um, so my preference would be if there's a mutation to start with the targeted approach. For patients who don't have a mutation, then ipilimumab will be a drug that I frequently use. The patients do need to be selected carefully if they're gonna receive ipilimumab therapy. Overall, this is a well-tolerated therapy that's given intravenously, but there can be serious side effects. And so I think patient selection is going to be important, and we need to educate patients and oncologists about the unique side effects associated with the therapy. I think that if, you need a, if a patient needs a response really quickly, the vemurafenib is gonna be appropriate, but again, only in the um, patients that have the mutated gene.